I'm in trouble. Yeah. Well, new axe. New freaking cool axe. We got an Epiphone Futura Prophecy, a Futura Custom Prophecy set, series guitar. And what we got? We got a Mahongni neck, Mahong, Mahongni body with quilt top, and this freaking cool red, red quilt top. Oh man, this looks better on nature than on videos or photos. Uh, neck is, neck is 24. 24.75 scale, 24 frets and ebony fretboard. This is this is like high-end guitar. Groover tuners, set of EMGs 8185. Two volumes, tone, nothing else. And freaking fun to play. This neck is neck feels freaking awesome. Just like tin you tin U. Oh, oh, whatever, whatever. Thank you. I have no words on this one. And this is almost like brand new. Couple of damage here from from moving around, but just like freaking almost brand new one. Well, well. So we are going to play something and yeah, just play something. No, nothing serious. This body shape is ex explorer style but futuristic and get getting up here for me is a little struggle. 24 frets, so I can get 22 frets easily, but the 24 just just not working. Just taking taking a little toll. Little work to do for that one. Strings are arterios 1040 1046 standard e tuning. And this freaking cool blade inlays or what are this? What they say about this? So let's go. <laughs> And playability is super low. This is like almost over one millimeter, and this is a little bit low, lower than one millimeter. So I have to raise that up. So so then it's good for me to play. I need a little bit higher, so there is a little bit of strength. Easy to freaking fun to play. Ah, there is this black binding, what I forgot to say to you. And, and just... No neck dive, just, just feels great.
overall freaking cool guitar. This might be the coolest guitar ever. Or one of those. Yeah. <laughs> Woo -hoo. Oh, this is a Setnik. Setnik construction and goes very, very low and high up there. That's that's quite odd, odd to me. But well, this is future future series prophecy series. So I don't know. What do you think? Tell me, tell me about it. Good or bad? What else? What else? What else? What else? From the back looks nice, nice wood, nice wood, and these cavities are just great. Nothing bad to say about those. If you find one, I say try it and buy it. For me, I like to keep this, but the scale, scale, is, scale isn't right. I like 25.5 scale. That's my thing. But this ain't bad at all, too. And overall, a prior guitar for collection collectors. Uh, I've been seeing that black one with Floyd Rose, so I, I hope you find this one, too. I think this red looks better. Better badass. But if that black had just a stop tail piece, that might be just freaking, freaking, freaking cool out some guitar. Opinions, tell me about it. How you feel it. What do you think? What do you think? Yeah, this go for sale. I hope somebody gets it soon. It's a piece of freaking cool craftsmanship. Nothing less to say. Nice, nice guitar. Nice feeling. Nice playability. Playability. Skelly is. This feels great to play. For me, Skelly is wrong. But good to play. Just feels natural. Feels when you take it from the box and play. It's it's just there. It's it's over there. That, that's for me for now, and uh, what do you think? Leave comments, tell me, tell me what you think. Well, no words to say about tomorrow. <laughs> I tell it everything, everybody knows how 81 and 81 and 85 looks like. Oh, by the way, I had a red once. I might switch them to this one, to here. Red or black? Red pickups or black pickups? If I'm going to keep this, I'm going to put red EMGs here. More badass. So, have a nice day and enjoy today. Bye bye.